All right, so I just got in some barbell anchors for my rack from Darko and you can check him out. I'm going to put his link in the description below to his website. Um, he's a local guy out of California here. I've been friends with him for a little while and he finally released these things. These things are really cool. Uh, I have a separate video on getting them painted to, you know, if you want to match your theme in your gym. But today we're just going to talk about how they work, what do they do, and get them up in the rack. So stay tuned, we'll get them in the rack right now. All right, so we're over at my Rep Fitness um, PR5000 rack, and the idea behind these barbell anchors is to set them up in your rack, something like this, and what that's gonna do is allow you to store a couple barbells up in the rack, easy access, you can just drop them down, use them when you need to, and then go ahead and put them back up and store them. So I've got a whole bunch of accessories on my rack, so for me, what I'm gonna have to do is kind of play around, see where I wanna actually install these. And if you haven't watched my other tip videos, remember guys, when you're installing stuff on your rack, the washers only go one way. So check this out, let's see here. Here's an example of a stamped washer on the rough side. And I've covered this quite a bit, but I think it gets missed. And you'll see on the rough side where it stamps out, that will scratch your rack up quite a bit. So when you're installing stuff, use this side of the washer. You'll see it's a lot smoother. It's kind of the way it's stamped out. You have a, a basically an up and a down. So make sure you put this smooth side towards your rack. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mount these things up and we'll try it out. Okay, I've got them in the rack and I think when I was installing those, I probably didn't have the camera framed perfectly, but they are up in the rack. This is a Rep Fitness PR5000, 93 inches tall rack. So um, depending on the height of your rack, um, it might be easier or harder to get the barbells up in there, but I've got them set up on the number six spot inwards, and this is a 36 inch um, depth rack for this um, section. So uh, we'll try that and see how it goes. I'm gonna go grab a barbell and get it up in there and we'll see how it works. All right, so I grabbed my bare steel, uh, blue collar bar, it's Cerakote red um, to match my rack and everything. And I threw it up there, it was really easy to put in. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it, uh, it, it fits really well. It's, it wasn't hard to get up into the rack. I was wondering just kind of what that was gonna be like and for some people that might be a little bit shorter. I actually think it'll work fine. It's, a, it's not as far of a reach as I thought it would be. Now, um, I've also seen guys um, Darko showing people you can do pull-ups off this. So I think we're gonna have to try that out. Move this bench and let's see if we can get a pull-up out of it. Yeah, it works no problem on the pull-ups. Um, yeah. Oh, she's, oh, there we go, yeah. All right, so we'll get that out and let's put it on the back side and load two bars up in there and see how that goes. Okay, so I've got two bars loaded up in there. I got a rogue a power bar and uh, that bare steel bar. Pretty cool, fits really well, it looks good. They're up out of the way. Um, you know, obviously if you are doing overhead press or something like that, you're probably going to you're probably going to need a little more space. You're probably going to do that on the outside of the rack, but it's not hard to get them down and do that. Um, I like it. I think it's a cool idea. I'm curious how, say, an SSB will fit. So I'll go grab my rep SSB, and I'll pull these out, and we'll see how it fits in here. All right, so I've got my rep SSB up in the anchors. It does fit in there really well. Um, one thing is the handles hang down. So I would, I think I'm gonna have to figure out what you could, well, there's a couple options you could do. You could put up another barbell on the other side and just let that sit on top of it. So I'll try that right now. Uh, no, 
No, nope, that's not gonna work. All right, so that's not gonna work because the sleeves end up hitting each other. So you can't do that, but you know, there's definitely a way you could kind of tie that off or use a bungee cord or something like that just to hold it up. Um, and that would really work pretty well. So yeah, it does fit up there nicely. It's out of the way, it's easy to pull down. You know, I don't think most people are gonna leave it like that hanging there, but just to have a couple bars up there, it's a great option. I really like this thing. Check it out. Again, uh, there's a website, he's got an Instagram page as well. I'll put all those links in the description. And I'm gonna see how it works over the next couple of weeks and months and keep using it, keep some bars up there. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. I like the idea. It's really cool, really innovative product. And I'll put some screenshots for the pricing and stuff like that. And you have an option for hardware, 5 8 one inch, whatever you wanna do. So yeah, really innovative product. I like it. I'm not sure how I'm, what bars I'm gonna use yet, but I'm really excited to see how this works in the gym. So again, check them out. And thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.